do you consider yourself to be retarded as well no there are few individual who are not retarded and they should be on the higher level where politicians are sitting that's why i think okay meritorious people yeah, people merit. with merit yeah hmm. merit hello hi good hi. evening hi good evening anand how are you doing i'm doing awesome I'm doing great thanks how are you doing great great so um, you're meeting each other for the first time i suppose right Yeah, it is first time okay so let us begin with a brief introduction right maybe then we can move on to the session to be honest i don't have introduction but yeah uh, yeah yeah i'm living in this world so i have to give introduction so uh, my name is anand raj uh, i'm teacher apart from that uh, you can consider me kind of uh, entrepreneur so i have my youtube channel a website and uh, offline coaching institute so i have been through these businesses uh, if you talk about my hobbies i love to roam around i love traveling and uh, listening to audio books yeah okay and uh, why did you decide to join clapping go and i see that you have done over 200 sessions how has your journey been journey has been quite good so far yeah and why like you understand this is platform where i can communicate with people from different you know kind of a background so i'm talking with them so that's why i'm here okay okay so did you get the time to go through the session document for today yeah it is kind of podcast yeah it's about podcast so do you know what podcasts are of course i know yeah are you fond of listening to podcasts Yeah, I'm listening to podcasts. Okay, uh, but uh, before we begin uh, with the main topic uh, for today, I would like to give you two uh, <clears throat> speech topics, right? Extempore topics. Okay, so the first one is you can think about it for about thirty uh, seconds or a minute, and then you can uh, continue speaking on them. The first topic is paperback versus e-books. So you so can. about both of them right yeah pros and cons of both anything that is in your mind you can talk about anything yeah like yeah both have their own pros and cons right uh if i talk about paper pack then you know it was kind of thing you can touch you can feel and uh, you can read in front of your eyes and you can realize everything right but uh, if i talk about ebooks it is kind of document in your computer or you know in software so uh you can access whenever you want you can read it out but uh, the problem with book was paper back was that you know you have to keep it well somewhere you know if you leave it in rain then it will you know what can i say it will melt down but uh, in e book you can save in document it will be in your gallery or somewhere for forever right so that is the beauty of this uh, you know technical era uh, yeah i could see these things you know after that you know i think both have their pros and cons is right now i'm preferring ebooks because i feel it it is convenient you know and whenever i'm finding new words i can easily google out the words meaning right but uh, if i talk about the traditional word and dictionary then i have to open that paperback dictionary search the word it takes a lot of time and, and in google uh, i have uh, one advantage is that you know i can find the similar words like that i can find the exact meaning and context in which word has been used so these are few you know advantages there hmm okay perfect so the second topic is holidays mm -hmm. so i have to talk about it right yeah yeah holidays uh yes we we are human beings so we have to look for holidays otherwise you know all the animals are always in holidays right so yeah i love holidays because i have to work and i think right now i don't have holidays and every day is holidays for me right because uh, i have a works that i have to do every day right kind of i have to put my effort but yes i keep 2 3 hours every day that is my holiday time right beginning of the 
day right in the morning time two or three hours i spend in nature you know without any interruption so you know i i'm kind of person who has holiday every day you know for three hours at least not i don't consider if you have only 24 hours in a day then it is holiday even three hours you can spend in without any interruption without any interference then you know yeah you are in holiday so i enjoy holiday every day completely agree with you okay perfect so right uh coming back to the main topic of today that that is podcast so you told me that you already know what podcasts are and uh, but do you listen to podcasts do you follow some podcasts i listen to podcasts but i yes. don't remember i follow them or not but i listen to like i i consider that talk as a podcast you know so it is not that i'm watching their videos right even i i just listen to the sound more of them more often so it is kind of podcast for me so most of the time you know i'm listening to things i do not watch the video but i listen right more more often so it is kind of podcast for whole you to be podcast for me which uh, podcast did you uh, listen to um during uh, the time you were learning english or which one do you prefer listening to any time and what sorts of genres are you fond of no i am fond of all kinds of genres right whether it is science spirituality or uh, which was know, the last podcast you heard what was it about even today i have heard podcast mm-hmm. you know just 2 3 hours back hmm. the which genre was genre was just humanity uh, i'll talk about humanity right hmm. yeah. and who was the speaker hmm? who was the speaker of that podcast I don't remember who was the speaker. Just I was listening to him. He was some one individual. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he was speaking something from out of this world, right? Not out of this world, but out of the common mind. So I mm-hmm. enjoyed him. What was he talking about? Can you give me a brief of what he was talking about? He was talking about you know even democracy is not a uh, good for human beings, right? So mm-hmm. we should look. like we had monarchy hierarchy or whatever system before right kingdom system so we came uh, we broke down it you know and we came to the democracy system where you know leaders are uh, ruling this world right but uh, yes. as far as democracy is concerned you know de- democracy is is definition of democracy is it is by the people for the people and something like that that has been given by abraham lincoln right but it is also not a right definition because most of the people in this world are retarded so it means it is the it is the retarded people for by of right that's why i was listening it was very interesting you know so definitely if you look at the people in this world most of the people are sleeping retarded because we are sleeping on atom bomb we have the atom bomb which can destroy the whole world three times after all we are making the nuclear power you know and look at uh, if i have to become a teacher i have to go to university but politicians never go to university they can become politicians politicians so it definitely shows that this world is sleeping retarded people are retarded minded that's why our politicians are like these people who are making atom bombs after atom bombs and uh, on the other hand people are dying in ethiopia because of hunger so yeah i somehow i look at the world and the difficulties then i related these two things are right that man was correct hmm. yeah okay so what about uh, do you consider yourself to be retarded as well no there are few individual who are not retarded and they should be on the higher level where politicians are sitting that's why yes. i think it should oh. be yeah it should be not democracy it should be metrocracy mm. metrocracy people should oh. be explain metrocracy metrocracy people should be there that's what okay meritorious people yeah, people merit. with merit yeah mm. merit so when it comes to politics you feel that uh people with what kind of merit are you talking about i'm Since talking about people who are creative who have consciousness who can see what is wrong and right for people they should be there okay 
right i agree with you to this uh, the the main policy makers of our nations right who have to handle the nation they should have some kind of um, some sort of eligibility and they should be accountable to the people even not eligibility university going to university they must be tested whether they have consciousness enough to understand right or wrong thing right there should be a level of gautam buddha at least because gautam buddha can think about all the individual and all mm. the individuality and for their welfare except mm. this you know when somebody would get into power with less than gautam buddha we who are going to exploit the poor or other people in this world right like as they do right now yeah so, of course they do i uh, how do you think uh, can people's conscience be tested whether you know whether they are capable of thinking about other people whether they are empathetic sympathetic or not it is good question i love this question yeah it can be tested easily by their talking quality by their walking quality by their thinking because one can easily understand people by just looking at them what they are you have to not go deep inside them just you know look at the gautam buddha we don't have you know gautam buddha right now but his talk that he has given to us can show who he is hmm. we have to not go deep and we have to not see even gautam buddha who he was but, but i think the way of your talking the way you said walking talking whatever uh, that only provides a cursory look towards a, what what a person is however uh, if you have to gain an in you know an in depth knowledge of how the person functions what the personality of the person is like we can definitely go for uh, psychological testings we have a battery of tests available to us the bhatia battery uh-huh. and minnesota tests and a hundred million other tests they can provide i think a very in depth look into what kind of a person we are no, talking no you mean you know all the psychologists are the genius people of this world you mean right that's not what i said no so you are saying on a psychological basis we can test whether they are capable enough to be a leader or not so psychology tells a lot about a person's mental state right a person can talk nicely but you never know like you said retarded he might be schizophrenic the person might have a mental disorder how would you come to know you can come to know just by giving him him some some work right and the way i told you like asking few questions whether they are whether he is able to deliver the right answer for the question or not you know again so, i think that would be a very cursory look right it depends on uh, what the person's state of mind during that day is. so you know if a person is going through a brilliant person might be going through some tough times and you ask him a certain question a very typical question and he might not be able to deliver the sort of answer that one expects that person to give while he is situated at a very senior political position but uh, any you know proper psychological tests psychological tests i mean like any other medical tests to verify what the person's vitals are like to verify what deficiencies or what um, mm-hmm. strengths right. or weaknesses the person has so a test like that a lot of career counsel- counselors gives you, uh, give you uh, these tests to identify what your strengths and weaknesses are so that you can uh, choose a career that is suitable for your own personality listen right? 